What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to be answering the question, is Gene good? You guys have been asking me for a Gene review, build guide, and all kinds of different stuff. So today we're going to talk Stand about Gene. And like I said, she doesn't like to be called just a support. So by now you guys have probably heard, if you guys have asked other people about Gene or if you've done your research, everybody's like, Gene's just a support. So you wouldn't expect her to hit for, you know, close to 2k, you know, on a basic attack. Or you wouldn't expect her to crit for 7,973 on a slime with her E, especially with no elements of bonus damage. Jean has the potential to deal a significant amount of damage, and the way that her kit works sets her up in a way where she can deal lots of damage, okay? Where she can clear camps, she can use her heal as an AoE, she can heal herself while standing in the AoE, but we're going to talk about all of that here today. And anybody that's told you that Jean isn't good unless you use constellations might not be giving you the best information. So, as we get into this guys, let's talk about Jean's ability and what makes her so special. So, first and foremost, you guys understand it's just a basic attack thing. You guys know what her basic attack looks like. I mean... It's pretty basic <laughs> that's why it's called the basic attack you have a charged attack which is this which is like a knock up and then you also have a plunge attack uh, just like every other character in the game now what makes Jean unique is her win companion ability what's hitched by normal attacks have a 50% chance to regenerate HP equal to 15% of Jean's attack for all party members so if you're in a situation with Jean and your party is hurt, you can just use your basic attack and she will continue to heal your party members based on how high her attack is. So you guys can see here, my Sucrose's HP is filling up pretty decently. She has, you know, 13,000 HP and just filling up pretty quickly. At 1993 attack, my Jean is healing for 332 on her basic attacks, obviously with a 50% chance. And that's only where the fun begins. As we get into her Gale Blade, her Gale Blade at the cost of continued stamina consumption, Jean can command the whirlwind to pull surrounding enemies towards her front. Direction can be adjusted and character is immobile during the skill duration. This is a very, very nice ability that can be used as a burst. It's going to also be used as a charge attack to immobilize enemies and if you hold this, you can deal some pretty significant damage, as you guys saw there with 5,400 damage for the E. Jean's true power is unleashed when we get into Dandelion Breeze, and honestly, this, I feel like, is what really makes her OP. Because she, calling upon the wind's protection, Jean creates a swirling dandelion field, which is a pretty large AoE, launching surrounding enemies and causing anemo damage. At the same time, she instantly regenerates a large amount of HP for all party members. HP restored scales off of Jean's attack. Not only that, but the field continuously regenerates HP for one ally and continuously imbues them with anemo. So, in, in, you know, basically imbues your weapon with uh, anemo damage. Enemies uh, entering and or exiting the field with the damage. Damage. So you guys can see how low her HP is. She's at about 4k. If I do this, it almost heals her to full. And if I stand in the middle, right? So the enemies receive damage. If I stand in the middle, it continues to heal me. And if this enemy was going to enter into the field, that enemy would then continue to receive damage as well. So just looking at Jean's abilities, I personally have to say after a bunch of hours playing her, this is you know the first time for me that I've summoned her on an account other than when I was able to test her in other variances. Um, but she is hands down one of my favorite characters in the game just because of her overall utility. She's very simple to use. You don't have to think about anything really. She's not that complicated. If you want to heal, you use her basic attack. If you want to deal a little bit of quick burst damage, you can use her E. If you want to reposition enemies or do fun things like play with Amber, doll and launch her doll into enemies these are things that you can do with Jean if you're just looking for a strong position play character that's easy to use easy to use burst heals and can easily center as a primary DPS or support DPS for your team you need not look any further Jean by far is very 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 strong and she's earned her title as the acting grandmaster so now your next question is probably okay D I got Jean I've been looking at her. I read all the reviews. All the reviews says she's a support and she's not worth it. But if you guys have joined my stream, you guys have seen how much damage my Jean can deal, even with the mediocre gear that she has. Now your question is, okay, well, how do I build her? So when we get into Jean's gear, uh, Jean has a variety of ways that she could be built. Uh, because of the fact that she ults and it imbues her weapons with anemo damage, you could definitely go for an anemo bonus damage build. If you guys are looking at her helmet, 
Okay, I currently have her helmet on attack percent. If I was going to say I was going to build her stat priority no matter what, whether you guys go with an attack percent build or an Anemo bonus damage build, no matter what, I think that the most important stats to her are going to be attack percent, crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, okay? And then if you guys are planning to use Jean for comboing, which you could, definitely, but I still think physical damage, um, she'll, her emphasis is probably still a little bit more on physical damage, just because she's not really using the wind element that much, or as much as other characters, per se, like Zhao or, you know, other characters. I think that, um, of course, Elemental Mastery can still kind of play a factor, but Energy Recharge, just so you can utilize that ult and get that ult up quicker, I think will be a little bit more important, in my opinion. In terms of your other stats, again, attack percent, I think primarily for her, you're going to run attack percent, attack percent, attack percent, or you can mix it up and do like an attack percent, attack percent, uh, crit damage, or attack percent, attack percent, and emo bonus damage, or you can run triple attack, run a wind bonus damage set, again, if you guys are over level 40, and then just fill in the substats with the stats that I recommend it. For those of you guys who are under level 40, I recommend Berserker and or Gladiator for starters. For bonus Anemo damage, you guys could run Viridescent. For bonus healing, you guys could put her on a Maiden Beloved. It's more like a support healer if you're looking for the bonus heals on her basic attack, which could actually make her really strong. Um, if you guys are looking for more of a support gene, I recommend running attack percent or two attack percents and a healing bonus. Main piece as well is also another possibility. Or if you guys are going for the raw attack, you guys can go with the Bravery set that increases her raw attack power, which in turn will increase her healing and of course her damage. Any other sets that increase physical damage also work great. In terms of weapons, it doesn't really matter. You have a lot of flexibility when it comes to Jean. If you want to focus more on weapons that increase her physical damage bonus, or if you want to focus more on weapons that do energy recharge, attack power, and or crit rate, that is entirely up to you. Due to the flexibility of her kit, she has a lot of different roles that she can play and it's going to be your decision as to how you want her to fit inside your team. And that's one thing that I personally really, really love about Jean is because she's not really stuck into one way to be played. You can run her as a support, you can run her as a support DPS, you can run her as pure DPS, you can run her as pure support. It's just entirely up to you what cards you want your Jean to play in combat, but I assure you that no matter what you decide, Jean will fill any role very well. Now, in terms of materials needed to, to empower Jean, you will find yourselves on Tuesdays and Fridays in the Domain of Mastery here at the Forsaken Rift, uh, getting the Teachings of Resistance. You will also find yourself needing a lot of dandelion seeds and broken masks. Uh, if you guys are collecting these from the Hill of Churls, you guys will need a lot. I mean, a lot. So, do yourself a solid, and any time you see dandelions in the field, use a wind character to break the dandelions, or blow the dandelions, grab the dandelion seeds, and make sure you collect as many of these as you possibly can, no matter what stage of the game you're in, if you intend on using Jean. Again, Jean has the potential to be ridiculous if you just put some love into her, and as we continue to play Jean and we start moving into 5-star gear, which should be pretty soon here because we're at AR39, you guys will start to see just how strong Jean is actually is and that she's not just a support but anyway guys that's all i wanted to cover today if you guys got any questions comments concerns about this particular character definitely let me know in the comment box below and i'll be happy to assist and with that being said we will see you guys in the next video peace